Okay, it's getting serious. These are the dream heavyweight fights. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Army Ed, son. I hope you're well. So it's getting very serious now. I've got the bins on and this is time to let you know what the dream heavyweight fights should be in the coming months. So Turkey Al Sheikh, are you listening? Riyadh season, are you listening? Because the only way these fights are made is on a Riyadh fight card. They, they're not going to be made elsewhere. I don't believe so anyway. So this is what I want. I want, not necessarily on the same fight card, although that would be absolutely insane if it ever did, but we're, we're dealing with boxing insanity right now. If anything can happen, the Riyadh fight card, Turkey Al Sheikh, can make this happen. But, this is my list of the fights that I really want to see in the coming months. Now, I've purposely excluded Usyk and Fury because obviously they got their fight coming up. And I've purposely excluded Anthony Joshua, obviously who's lost to Daniel Dubois, because I really don't know which way he's going to go. For me, as I said in a previous video, the only fight he's got to save his career, as it were, or to put him at that top table, is to go straight back in with Daniel Dubois. I don't believe he deserves to go back in with Daniel Dubois based on his performance, especially the way he was in terms of not keeping ranges. You know, you've got to call him low hands Joshua from now on because he was just all over the place with his hands. But as I say, so I've excluded those on purpose. Okay, so here's my number one or, or my first matchup, my first dream matchup. And this, I think, could be a real good fight on the December fight card under Fury and Usyk. Dubois is involved. So Dubois against, wait for it, Turkey Al Sheikh. Get your notepad out. This is for you. Martin Bacoli. Daniel Dubois against Martin Bacoli. That's your first matchup. I think these two would just go at it, especially the way Daniel Dubois is fighting, and especially the way Martin Bacoli showed in his last fight. I think this, this would be a great matchup. Okay, second fight. One of my favourite fighters of the last sort of 12 months, heavyweight uh, boxers this is, Ajit Kabayal. Kabayal against Joe Parker. Again, I think this is just a match made for each other. Similar kind of body styles, different fighting styles, but I think that it just might, might work. They just might just go in there and it, it will just be a great fight. I say, I really rate Kabayal. It's just a fantastic fight. The way he demolished Mahmoudov, um, was it a few months ago now? Uh, and uh, the way he, yeah, he demolished uh, Sanchez as well. I think great, two great displays. The same for Parker against Gilly Zhang and Wilder, of course. I think that'd be a great matchup. So, Turkey Al Sheikh, are you listening? Are you watching? Make that happen. Okay. The third fight, I know he lost against Henry Dewar, but Hergovic is, I think he's due a return. And I'd like to see him against another loser in the last out in Jared Anderson. Again, I think that'd be a really interesting matchup just to see where these two boxers really are. Because let's face it, if you get beat, you need to get back in the ring pretty quickly. Now, obviously, depending on damage and injury, of course. Now, Hergovic is saying quite a bit of facial damage, but how injured was he afterwards? How long is it going to take him to recover? Same for Anderson. But I think this would be a great matchup. Okay. Fourth fight. This, again, might shock a lot of people. Jarrell Miller against Andy Ruiz in the, in the last fight of the, the uh, Los Angeles fight card. I thought Jarrell Miller did a fantastic job. Yes, he lost to Daniel Dubois, but it went to, what's it, uh, nine, ten rounds, something like that, uh, before he got stopped. But I thought he, you know, he did reasonably well there. Vastly overweight, but actually came in on weight, or a lot better weight against Andy Ruiz. So I thought he did really well. Jilly Zhang, by contrast, threw it away against Joe Parker uh, in, the, in their last fight as well. But he's, he's due for a big fight as well. So I'd put these two together. I think it'd just be so interesting to see contrasting styles, body shape, the, the way they attack each other. For me, fantastic fight. Okay, we know that Derek Chisora wants to come back in the ring. He wants to get hit 50 fights. And I'd love to see him on a Riyadh fight card as well. If he's going to fight, I don't want to see him fight. But if he's going to fight, I'd like to see him fight. So Derek Chisora is the next fight. And I'm going to put him in against a dangerous fighter, but one who lost against Ajit Kabayan in his last outing. And I didn't think he looked that impressive either. Frank Sanchez. Derek Chisora against Frank Sanchez. Now, I know who I'm picking on that one. But let us know your thoughts on that one. What do you think of that matchup? Possibly a bit too dangerous for Derek Chisora, I, I give you, but I think it'd be a great duster. 
especially the way Derek Chisora just brings the wall, just brings that commitment, and it, it'll give it its all. So I think that'd be a great fight. Now, next fight, Fabi Wardy. I know he's fighting soon, of course, but if he gets through that, I'd really like to see him against a fighter we haven't really heard much about, certainly not on the Riyadh fight cards, but a Jagbar. I don't know what his state of play is in terms of injury, but he's got to be desperate for a fight. He's got to be looking for a fight. I saw his last fight. He looked quite impressive to me. And I'd like to see where he is and where Fabio Wardley is in terms of their levels, in terms of this upper echelon of, uh, you know, heavyweights. Now, Fabio Wardley is in, in a lot of top 10 rankings as well. So if he's there, then really he should be able to compete at this level as well. Otherwise, what's the point of having these rankings? So for me, Fabio Wardley against the Jagbert, I think uh, that would be a, that would be a decent, that'd be an interesting fight to watch. I really can't call it either way because I don't really have the data. But I say it'd be really interesting to match these two up. Now, the next fight matchup, I think might shock you because I've said this guy shouldn't really be in the ring anymore. But on the basis of who I'm going to put him up against, I think this might be a very interesting fight. But it certainly might raise the interest of the American fan base out there. So here's my logic. Deontay Wilder against Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz a draw last time, but he's been so inactive, you know, by his own fault. And I, and I think he really needs to step it up. Deontay Wilder, yeah, could be coaxed back into it. This would be a big fight. This would be a massive fight for the American fan base. This has had a lot of pay-per-views, I'm sure. Let's just see how Deontay Wilder does it against a kind of floundering, not so sure, not so convincing, I should say, Andy Ruiz. Let's just see how these two match up. If they, if he's going to come back in the ring, Deontay Wilder, and if Andy Ruiz is going to get of a fight, put him on a Riyadh fight card and on the undercard, and let's just see how they do. Let's let us know your thoughts on that one. And finally, finally, again, this may surprise a few people, but he's the young buck of the heavyweight division. Moses Atalma, he needs to step up into that level now. Let's just see exactly where he's at. I would put him in against, this is somebody who would, would surprise a lot of people. And maybe it's just a little bit too far for him, but also maybe it's perfect. And maybe this is just the perfect way to see at which stage Moses Atalma is at. I put him in against Jermaine Franklin Jr. Jermaine Franklin Jr. went the distance with Anthony Joshua. Yeah, I thought he did reasonably well. And in some cases, yeah, I, I thought you might nick that fight as well. So if you're going to put him in that lower end of the top 10 rankings, then actually Jermaine Franklin is there or thereabouts as well. So I think as a next fight, just to see where he goes, I think this would be a very interesting fight. So there we go. That's eight fights for you. Eight dream heavyweight fights. And Turkey Al Sheikh, I'll tell you what, here's the challenge. If you can get all those fights on one fight card, that's that's that is absolute insanity. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know about those matchups. Do you think these would be good bust-ups? I think they would. If we're talking about Riyadh fight cards, we're talking about 50-50 fights. We're talking about entertaining fights. Fighters that are going to bring it and entertain us. Are oh, you not entertained, as Daniel Dubois said uh, the weekend? Well, this is exactly it. We want to be entertained and we want to have the fights that would never be made. And this is the opportunity now not only in the heavyweight division but in all divisions to get those fights that have never been made just make no excuses let's just get them on there let us know your thoughts in the comments below if you like what i do here don't forget to like and share the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for all future videos and we'll catch you again on another video coming very soon right serious stuff over catch you again bye now